Hello beautiful souls, so very warm welcome or welcome back to my channel. Hope you people are doing great. I am doing absolutely fine. If you are new to this place and wondering who is this, hi my name is Charanya. I do videos related to beauty and lifestyle. If you are interested in such content, stay connected. So without talking much, let's get into our Diwali makeup look. So let's start stepwise. First, I'm going to use the Pons Moisturizer. This is the OG Pons Moisturizer I've been using for a long time. And if you have combination skin, I highly recommend this. So I'm going to take a little amount, nicely warm it up between my hands and gently going to rub it on my skin. I want the moisturizer to get into my skin and feel hydrated and plump. This will give me a nice flawless base. Once my skin is nicely hydrated, it's time for lips. I'm using the B&H Lip Balm. This is in the flavor bubble gum. It hydrates your lips really well because it has sheer butter and it will leave a nice plumpy look. Even if you use a matte lipstick or lip gloss, it doesn't leave it chappy. Next, I'm starting with the Nykaa Prep Me Up Primer. This is a silicone based primer. It's pretty lightweight. I'm going to take a little bit, warm it between my fingers and going to apply wherever I have pores. You're not supposed to apply the primer all over the face. Moisturizer acts as a barrier between your face and your foundation so primer is just to fill in the pores so wherever you have pores it will make it smooth fill it in so that your foundation can sit nice smoothly so coming to the foundation i'm starting with the mama earth's glow foundation this is a nice glowy makeup look i'm creating i have taken two pumps of the foundation to which i'm going to add equal amount of moisturizer you can totally skip this step of adding moisturizer but trust me you will love this hack. So you have to just mix equal amount of moisturizer with foundation and nicely blend it in. And you can use your favorite brush or a beauty blender and blend it on your skin. It will just melt like butter on your skin. As you have already done your skincare, it is going to be really smooth, will blend in really well. Even though I have mixed moisturizer in my foundation, it will never compromise on the coverage. The coverage will be full. It has covered all my blemishes, dark spots. You can clearly here see that the difference between both the sides, how it has covered my dark circles as well as all the blemishes and dark spots. So you can blindly trust. If you feel that the foundation is very light, you can always go ahead and layer up. Also, you make sure that you are covering all over your face, even your ears if there is some discoloration, neck and shoulders. So this all part is going to get exposed. So make sure it has an even base. Look how dewy the makeup looks. So next I'm going with the concealers. I'm going to use two different types of concealers here. One is my shade and one is lighter. So the shade which is mine is 40 caramel and the one which I'm using as a lighter shade is 25 medium. I'm going to start with my shade. This is the 40 medium and I'm just going to apply it under my eyes and I'm going to just lift it up like a shape lifter in the side. After applying on both sides, I'm going to leave it on for two minutes. Here, it will help in giving you more coverage. I have tried this method and it totally works. Once your concealer is setting in, I'm using the lighter shade that's 25 medium and I'm going to prime my eyelids for eyeshadow. Apply a generous amount on both the eyelids and just blend it in really well. Here, the game is of blending in. Also, as the shade is lighter than your skin tone, it's going to leave a grey effect. Don't worry, once you're done with the eyeshadow, you will not find any grey effect on your eyes. It will be really blended and will look like your own skin tone. So don't worry about that. A really quick tip, whenever you're blending in your concealer, dab it on and after dabbing out in the place, in the ends, try to blend it in your foundation so that it will give you a smoother finish and not a patchy look. So here under my eyes also the concealer is all set. So I'm just dabbing it in the place and in the remaining place I'm going to just blend it into my foundation so that it has like a one complete finish. After that I'm going to apply wherever I need some more concealer or some more coverage i'm going uh, beside my lips and on my nose there is some dark spots so i'm going to cover it with the concealer always dab your concealer don't rub your concealer it will move the concealer from the place after you're done concealing it's time for baking setting your concealer not the cake while baking 
For that, I'm going to use the Sugar Cosmetics Translucent Powder and I'm going to apply really close to my lower lash. I'm going to apply a really generous amount. As this is a very dewy, glowy makeup look, I'm not going to let it go onto my foundation. Make sure it's just really close. This is a step I'm using so that I can avoid crease lines under my eyes. So I will let it sit for 5 minutes. Once it's all set, I'm just going to buff it off from the place. I'm not going to drag it onto my foundation so that my eyes are nicely concealed. But my foundation is on point dewy and glowy. Now it's time for eyeshadow and I'm using the Makeup Revolutions Reloaded Neutrals Palette 2. And I'm starting with shade number 7 and 13. I'm going to mix it all together, buff the extra off and start as a base. I'm going to start on my crease line and go upwards blending it, creating a nice smoky look. Blended it really well, it should look like a sunset. Once you're done blending in really well, I'm going with the shade number 4. It's a very peachy color and then going to apply on my eyelid. So this will be the base for my glitter. I am using a peachy pink glitter so it will elaborate and give a better effect. Next I am using shade number 9 which is a glitter shade and just going to pat it with a flat brush. So if you are not able to pick up the glitter with a flat brush you can always use your finger and with the help of the finger you can build up the eyeshadow. Next I am using a black eyeshadow and a flat brush and I am going to create a wing eyeliner. I am going to start from outwards to inwards. I am just going to create the wing first and then slowly go inwards. You have to build it up slowly. If you go all at a stretch you will mess up your complete eyeshadow and you have to redo it and here in case if you don't have a black eyeshadow you can always use your brow shadow or you can always use your kajal and then use a flat brush and blend it in and give it a smoky look this will give you a nice finish next i'm picking the shade number four in a flat brush starting from the end to my center of the eye I'm just going to lightly blend in giving it a complete look next I'm taking Lakme Kajal pencil and I'm going to just uh, do half of my eye creating a cat look and I'm going to apply the Kajal on my upper waterline as well after this it will give you a complete fuller look after this I'm going to take the sky high mascara and apply it on my lashes for some volume this is a mascara I trust by it gives a lot of volume instantly so I'm going to do it on my upper eyelashes as well as my lower lash line also it gives a nice definition to the eyes once this is done I'm going to complete the eye makeup on my other eye as well just like this i'm using the tnw lip and cheek tint in the shade columbus i'm nicely going to warm it up and then apply on my cheeks i'm going to take it upward direction giving a nice lift to the face and natural flush so next we are going to use the ads lip liner this i'm going to use to line my lips it's creating a base structure to apply the lip gloss so that it will give you a nice structure. This is in the shade between a red to maroon. Once I have nice defined lips, next I'm going for the My Glam Lip Gloss in the shade Dank and I'm just going to apply it very generously. This lipstick is a very good matte lip gloss. It's going to stay on like for good 12 hours without budging and it gives so beautiful finish. Next I'm using the Swiss Beauty's liquid highlighter. I'm going to take 2-3 to three drops on back of my palm. This is in the shade golden and I'm going to take a flat brush and start applying on the high points of my cheek. With the same flat brush I'm just going to blend it towards downwards into my blush so that it is nicely blend and has a really glowy dewy look while doing my cheeks i'm also going to apply on the bridge of my nose on the nose and on the cupid of my lips also i'm going to focus on my shoulders wherever it is seen to give a nice glowy finish here's another pro tip use liquid and cream products when you're doing a glowy makeup look here's why so in case if you have used a powder blush instead of cream blush it would have mattified your cheek area and you wouldn't have any glow and if you use a 
powder highlighter over a liquid highlighter it will look really chunky which is definitely not desirable just like that we are already done with our makeup look let's add some tickly and jewels and this is how my diwali makeup turned out it's a really easy look and will go with many outfits you can just try it out if you do try it out please post the picture and tag me on instagram at charanya nayar so this is all for this video guys i hope you enjoyed if you did please do like share and subscribe to my channel and definitely don't forget to you know share some comments down happy diwali guys until next time lots of love bye bye